We're live? Yep. Awesome. Afternoon, Facebook. Good afternoon, class. Once again, it's Sunday, yet again, another week down. Getting closer towards the end of the year. We've got like another couple more months till Christmas, right? I know everybody's going to hate me over that one. Well, just like always, I have another group of graduates. I have nine people graduating today, all with their unarmed security license. Um, I have a few people that are spoken for, but other than that, employers out there, I have some potential candidates here. So without further ado, I'm going to award the certificates after I sip my coffee, because it's very important that I stay awake, right? <laughs> mm, pumpkin spice. Got it. <laughs> I pronounced your name right, Schlatterhausen. Schlatterhausen. Good enough for me. Thank you. Thank you. So check it out. What's it called again? Be the Be Light. Be the Light Inc. Be the Light Inc. You can find it on Facebook. Yep. You can find it on Facebook. Very cool. Samuel. Right here, buddy. Sir, for coming out. Basically, we do this every couple of months to coincide with the gun shows. We're doing our gun fair again. This is the $35 concealed being done every hour on the hour. All right? Which means you're going to come in and you're going to learn the four laws of firearm safety, learn proper handling of a firearm. All right? What are the four laws of firearm safety? Well, one, you want to handle every firearm as if it was loaded. Don't ever pick it up and assume that, hey, good to go. I know it's unloaded. No. Treat it as, as if it was loaded. All right? Two, you always want to keep the firearm pointed in a safe direction. Pointing a firearm up high is not a safe direction. Pointing a firearm at another person or any living being is not a safe direction. Pointing a firearm at the wall is not a safe direction. All right? Movie Magic says that I can go hide behind my refrigerator door and it won't go through. I can hide behind that drywall there. Bullet won't go through. We all know that that's bullshit. Realistically, the only safe place to point a firearm is down. 
or to an approved backstop. Okay? Bullets pointed up in the air, you know, we always do it. People like to do it during Fourth of July and New Year's. They like to take their guns on and shoot them up in the air. Guess what? That bullet's got to come down sometime. I think the only one that we ever really shoot up in the air that's kind of safe is technically uh, like a bird shot. Love you, bird shot. That stuff just dissipates, but that's neither here nor there. All right? Always keep your finger outside of the trigger guard. Never put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to right, shoot. Okay? This is your safety. All right? This is my safety. All right? And the last but not least, you want to make sure that you know what's beyond your target. Okay. Different types of ammunition, different calibers, and different things. Like I told you before, 115 grain hollow points or 115 grain FMJs coming out of a 9 millimeter shot, shot at somebody at point blank range have a good possibility of penetrating through the torso and going straight through to another victim. Okay. That's what happens when you have the innocent bystander who winds up getting shot after shooting into someone else. And that's also not good too, because of bloodborne pathogens and everything else. It's gonna be a transfer of energy from one person to another, cross contamination, never good, all right? You always wanna be sure what's beyond your target, what's around your target, and you wanna make sure you know exactly what you're shooting about, or shooting at, okay? Anyway, with the gun show, or with the gun fair, all right? <clears throat> We're gonna teach you proper firearm handling techniques, all right? You have your different stances. Most common, old school, is isosceles. All right, just like a trident. Then you get into the weaver. All right, one arm straight out. It's a push pull technique. Then you get into the most common, the most comfortable now, the modified weaver. It's a bladed stance with the same push pull technique out there. Okay, stabilizing shots. Square up. Feet roughly just wider than shoulder width apart. Drop your center of gravity low. Push the back side out. Push the front side in. To get yourself leaned over top of your firearm. That'll give you a good stable brace to take distance shots with. That goes for rifles as well. Military that teach us to stand in that modified weaver stance. All right. Because we want to give the least possible target to our opponents. Well, now they give us this wonderful stuff called body armor, so changing it up from the least possible silhouette facing your target, right? Square up that shot. In the same manner, come in and give yourself that nice, stable brace to shoot from, okay? Those are a few things you're going to learn. You'd also learn what castle doctrine is and how to properly store and transport a firearm. We will demonstrate firearm proficiency in front of and with an NRA firearms instructor. All right. You will learn also when it is acceptable or when it would be justified to use deadly force. Like I told you before, uh, deadly force is never justified unless a person or persons poses the means, the motive, and has the ability to cause you or the persons around you, the um, threat of death or great bodily harm, a safe retreat is not possible, and for security and law enforcement out there, um, proper de-escalation techniques and all other forms of justified use of force have been exhausted. At that point, you would be authorized to use deadly force. You have to feel as if your life is threatened, and keep that in mind. Those are a few things you're going to learn. So once again, we're doing it September 24th, September 25th. My birthday's the 24th, so you come in on Saturday. Um, I like pumpkin pie and uh, cherry pie, too. It's my favorite. Peach cobbler, awesome. <laughs> anyway, September 24th, September 25th. From 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., it's a Saturday and a Sunday, we'll be holding the gun fair. Every hour on the hour. No minimum class sizes. $35. Can't miss it, right? We'll have everything. All you need to bring is a method of payment and your government-issued ID. 
show up, we got the rest. Right? So visit us online, psifortmyers.com. Okay? Check us out on YouTube, Professional Security Institute. And obviously you're checking us out on Facebook, but just in case you're spreading the word around, check us out on Facebook, Professional Security Institute as well. We have our sister agencies out here, our big brother I guess we could call them. Tactical Weapons, the Gun Negotiator. It's a gun shop. If you love your Second Amendment as much as I do, and you want to hear Freedom Ring in different calibers, so it's awesome. Shoot those big guns. We got everything you can think of. We just got a new shipment of um, shotguns, and these things are full. They're like shotgun pistols. They're badass, actually. Uh, they even have breaching devices on them. It's really cool. Um, we got a new... Um, 2A armament, Second Amendment armament, uh, or 2A armament AR, it's 4.92 pounds. The thing is lighter than hell. All right, it's lighter than, it's lighter than my Glock, actually, when it's fully loaded. It's crazy. Um, got AKs, we've got ARs. Well, I mean, we're tactical weapons. You know, we got everything, most of the things that you're going to need to build ARs. I've got lower, we got blank lower receivers. I have fully loaded uh, lower receivers. We have uppers. Black Rain Ordnance, Spikes Tactical, Core 15, DPMS. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. All right. If you like going tactical, we have a full um, option of Magpul accessories as well. We are also the only authorized Blue Label dealer here in Southwest Florida. If you want another Blue Label dealer, got to go to Lou's uh, across the state. Anyway, check us out. All right. GunNegotiator.com. There's a gun store, psifortmyers.com. Give us a call for the uh, security school. We do it $150 in person, $140 online. And if you happen to be a veteran who's been discharged within the last 24 months, the class is $125 in person. Department of Agriculture has waived the initial application fee. All you have to do is pay for your background check, $42. Application fee is $45. So for everyone else, it's $87. All right. Anyway, we call 239-936-7044. That's right here. You get me. It's forwarded to my wonderful cell phone sitting around here somewhere. All right. Every day, always answer it. Next thing, if you need to get a hold of the gun shop or you have questions about the concealed weapons or you want to call either line for the concealed weapon schedules, we still do those every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Those are normal prices, $60, so... Check us out. And the gun shop, 239-936-9950. I'm Mike with PSI, and as always, stay informed.